Hello friends, again most welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about the thin layer chromatography that is an TLC which you have already studied in your B farm but we are seeing it in, in this topic in the M farm uh, in a simple way. So what is the chromatography? The chromatography it is a uh, method of separation of mixture of compound into the individual compound using two phases that is mobile phase and stationary phase. You have already know about that. What is chromatography? Uh, I have discussed this topic in the gas chromatography in last lecture. Let's see the principle of TLC the TLC that is a thin layer chromatography is based on the principle of adsorption chromatography the compounds with more affinity toward the stationary phase will travel the slower and the compounds with less affinity toward the stationary phase will travel the faster this is a basic principle of thin layer chromatography let's see the general process of the TLC means how we are going to perform the TLC first of all what we are uh, we, we will going to do in TLC the TLC TLC plates we are going to use it which uh, we want to wash and dry it first of all then what we are going to do then these plates are coated with a thin layer of silica, silica gel G as a stationary phase in thin layer chromatography as you have already know that we are using the silica uh, gel G as a stationary phase to run our samples after that after coating this silica gel G on, on that uh, TLC plate we are going to keep aside for a uh, 5 minute to dry it then after dry then the activation of plates so they are dried at 120 degrees celsius in oven for the activation of these plates after activation of these plates uh, the, uh, they are purified with a polar solvent after activation we are going to purify our plates now sampling uh, on the TLC will be there a origin line is marked at a lower end of the plate uh, for the spotting of the sample means basically uh, you consider that uh, yeah, this is an our TLC plate so a basic line we are going to draw for the uh, spotting our sample like we are in practical uh, we draw this uh, line on this silica gel G and this is an our TLC plate and our sample like uh, uh, this our, we are going to spot with the help of one capillary then after uh, drawing uh, this uh, basic line then uh, the samples are spotted with the help of capillary tube as I said that in a distance of 2 cm from each other means one sample uh, between these two sample the uh, distance will be uh, 2 cm uh, is there again the plates are dried for the 5 minutes after sampling we are uh, keeping the plates aside for the 5 minutes to get it dried completely now mobile phase is selected for uh, to run uh, the TLC then the selected mobile phase is poured into development tank means uh, this uh, is then our development tank we are going to pour our mobile phase then the play, uh, place and uh, the TLC plate in the development tank and covered it with, uh, with the lid means after pouring uh, the mobile phase in this development tank you are going to uh, put your TLC plate in the development tank then allow the mobile phase to run over the stationary phase then we are going to allow, allow our plate for uh, to run it after 30 minutes the mobile phase reaches to the top of TLC plate along with the dissolved sample then the plates are removed and allowed to draw for the uh, allow to dry for the five minutes lastly the plates are spread with the coloring agent that is a ninhydrin for the spotting of sample finally our separation takes place so this is a basic concept of our tls it is a thin layer chromatography this is a basic steps uh, step by step we have seen that how now uh, how we are going to perform the tls in practical also so preparation of tls plate how, how we are going to prepare our tls plate so there are a few methods for uh, preparing the tls plate so first method is a pouring method basically we are what we are doing that uh, consider this is a tls plate and we are pouring uh, over this tlc plate uh, our silica gel g so this is an first method pouring method spreading method what we are doing in spreading method uh, after pouring uh, this silica gel g we are spreading uh, this uh, stationary phase with the help of one scraper so this is an a spreading method and spring method uh, in spring method what we are doing basically this uh, TLC plate we are going to just spray our stationary phase uh, on this TLC plate and dipping method uh, in what we are doing in dipping method we have to take our TLC plate and just dip 
uh, this TLC plate into the stationary phase so uh, we will get the TLC plate and pre-coated plates are also available in the industry uh, to perform our TLC practical so this is a basic uh, methods to prepare our TLC plate for analysis of our compound let's see the development techniques in the TLC there are two methods ascending method and descending method in ascending method it looks like that the flow of a stationary mobile phase uh, sorry uh, the flow of mobile phase will be uh, goes like this in in that direction so this is an ascending method uh, this is an lead here is a development tank this is a chromatographic plate that is a TLC plate and here is a solvent or mobile phase so you have to draw this uh, diagram in your exam or you can give explanation as in in your word how it works or how you you are going to develop the techniques so second technique it is a descending technique what you are doing in descending technique uh, we have to uh, use one uh, beaker is there in beaker we have to put our mobile phase and one filter paper will be there and uh, the angle of this our TLC plate is is look that look like this and the flow of a mobile phase it uh, from upward to uh, lower and here ascending what uh, how the flow is there from lower to higher but in descending the flow is from higher to lower so this is a development technique of the TLC and the uh, naming will be remain co common that is a lead development tank and chromatographic plates let's see the evaluation of the plates uh, first method is an qualitative evaluation RF value that is an retardation factor so what is RF value RF value it is defined as the distance traveled by the compounds relative to the solvent so as you can uh, see here this is a TLC plate this is a basic line we have drawn and we have spotted this sample by keeping uh, the distance of 2 cm uh, and this is an uh, 80 cm means this is a solvent traveled means our total so uh, solvent uh, mobile phase it is a travel by 80 cm and standard sample it is travel for 10 cm and sample travel for 8 cm this is an uh, one uh, basic uh, for only representation for your understanding purpose so this is a center of our reference spot and it is an distance for the solvent traveled and the RF formula for RF that is an retardation factor distance traveled by the sample or divided by distance traveled by uh, solute sorry a distance traveled by the sample and distance traveled by the solvent so this is an uh, formula of uh, RF factor so let's see the advantages of the TLC TLC it is a simple procedure and required the simple equipment and uh, TLC also required the less amount of sample and solvent it can be used for both preparative and analytical purpose and the disadvantages of TLC is that the TLC plate does not have the long stationary phase so the length of separation is limited let's see the applications of the TLC TLC is used for the separation of compound it is also used to check the purity of sample TLC it is also used for the separation of amino acid vitamins and the proteins TLC is used for the analysis of blood and the urine sample TLC is also used for the detection of uh, pesticides or in insecticides in the soil and water TLC is also used for the testing the quality of various drugs uh, so this is an basic concept of our TLC it can be asked for 5 marks in your exam or uh, 3 marks can be asked for uh, in your final uh, semester exam for the M pharmacy so thank you for watching our video so you got the idea for the TLC and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and whatever your doubts you can ask in me in the comment section thank you